Hello, welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today we're looking at a tool in the shape of an aircraft stand. Um, so this has been gifted to me. Um, it's made by a company called EBMA Hobby and Craft. have seen me using this um, hand rest uh, which comes from them in in my videos and I also have um, a storage rack um, that I use for storing all my scratch building materials so anyway um, in the UK this retails for uh, 10 pounds this company goes to a lot of shows and indeed this was purchased at the uh, Bolton model show um, uh, for me and um, but you'll find them at Telford and I'm sure that uh, at some of the others as well um, and what you've basically got is some laser cut fiber board um, which is going to make a tool up the instructions are on their website you can see here it says instructions on the website and um, you can download a, a little full color very clear um uh, instruction pack that's a couple of pages long so nice and simple um other than what you get in the bag you are going to need some um adhesive so some form of wood glue is what's required okay let's get it out and have a look at it okay so we can it's a fairly thin bag, it's not zip seal or anything, it's been heat sealed, I think. We get all our components out and we can discard the bag now. And we've got this in here and it just says step by step instructions um, on the products page. So yeah, it's even showing you. Yeah, this is really good. Um, you go on to the actual product on the uh, website and then you click on documents or documentation, I think it is, um, and it opens up with a little file. So nice and easy to find. That's that done with. And then what have we got? We've got um, one, two, three, four, five of fiberboard and it's nicely done. Um, they, uh, the lasering is nice and neat and these should all just pop out. You'll notice they've got um, an F and a W on there. So fuselage wings makes it nice and easy. Um, and then we've got three little pieces here and then we've got our edging pieces. Um, so what I'm gonna attempt to do is put this together without the instructions. So um, we just pop out the pieces. This is our base. And see they come out nice and easy, which is a sign of good quality lasering. We've, the laser's gone all the way through and it's not causing us any problems with um, getting the part out, popping the part out. There we go. So once we've got our parts out, you will get um, little nibs where your um, attachment points are. And all we need to do is go in with a file and just smooth them off. Like so. And then we've got and we'll take those out as well. Okay. Now if you look at the spacings, that can't go 
in the wrong place and I suspected as much so I'm just going to pop that in I'm not gluing anything in for now um, I suspect that's the front facing end with uh, the company name on so that's what we'll do Okay, so uh, this clearly goes into there. Personally, I want the laser burn to be on the inside, and then this is going to fit into that slot there. So there we go. Again, nice and easy. Yeah, and they have done it so that the laser burn on both pieces faces inwards. So that's a really nice touch. That's that's someone thinking through a product. Okay, we've got three uh, pieces here, which I'm going to assume are end pieces. Like I say, I've not looked at the instructions. I wanted to show you how um, easily this goes together. When I say I've not looked at the instructions, I did download them and I did look at them, um, but that was yesterday. I've not got them open with me now. Okay, these appear to be all the same. So. There we go, and that's uh, the the base part of our our jig made. So the next thing is these, and you can see we appear to have different heights, and that's really handy. But you can decide whether you're wanting your aircraft to be propped up high or low, and this says fuselage, so. I assume it goes in there like that. And then this says wings. And you can notice I didn't clean these up. They're not coming into contact with anything, so you don't have to. I will. Um, just out of a matter of, you know, making it smart. But also, um, it's just going to look tidier. You could if you wanted sand all this scorching off and, and, and get rid of the laser scorching. I'm not going to bother. Right, let's get an aircraft. Welcome to the 2023 um, test mule, um, which is 172. And you can see that sits on there quite nicely. And if I wanted to be working underneath... Move that a bit narrower. There you go. Now, obviously, it's only held on with gravity, so you're not really got any rubbing, but this is a little rough. So you could go in and sand it nice and smooth, but I think um, in the instructions, as I recall, they recommended putting a little bit of masking tape on. Um, so you could put a little bit of cushioning on if you wanted. Right. That is basically it. Easy, isn't it? Let's um, let's think about getting this glued together. So I'm going to get the rest of these off and tidy them up first, and then we'll have a look at gluing it all together. Okay, I have had a little play with this, and I think I've worked out the best sequence for um, assembly. So let's look at that. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to put um, these side pieces in first and then um, for the fuselage and then we'll put the wing sections in. That seems to be um, the method that works best because of the tabs um, here, these single tabs. So um, I'm going to start by putting some glue on our first part. So um, I'm going to put the glue on the flat edges between the tabs. Um, I don't think that we need to put glue on the inside. Um, you can always run a bit of super glue in afterwards um, if, you, if you're worried about it. But the, um, the wood glue should hold this really quite well. Okay, there we go. Uh, locate that. Now you've got a little bit of slack in there, so it will wiggle about a little bit, but that's okay. So get it, you've got a bit of drying time as well, so you've got a little bit of time to mess around with it. So um, I think what we'll do is we'll put the other one in um, next. Um, so that's going to go in, I'll put that one in, there you go, live TV people, put that one in on the wrong side, it doesn't, it actually doesn't matter which side you put it on, but I want the uh, laser burn on the inside. There we go. Okay. Now we will tidy this up. Um, in a minute so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the bottom piece the side piece and I'm actually going to glue the tab as well just for a little bit extra strength and rigidity so we plop that in at the back there. There we go. Now you've got two options here. You can either tidy it all up with um, a bit of tissue and make it all look nice and smart like that. Or you can run a bead of white glue along it to give it a bit of extra strength. So I'm gonna actually do both. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna tidy it up, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit of extra strength when it's all dry, and run a little bit of super glue into the tabs. Um, what you've got to remember is that you're gonna be fitting these um, these pieces here, uh, and you don't want anything any glue in the edges fouling on the edges of that you can always file these off but then it's just going to make them a bit looser I think so so we're just going to get in there and tidy that up That's looking quite smart now.
So that's all nice and square. Okay, then what we're going to do is we're going to get this end piece and glue that into place. Um, so I'm going to put glue on the tab ends here. And then we're going to glue between the tabs again like we did before. And because this is a connecting piece, I am putting a little bit of glue into the tab hole. Um, it'll just make everything nice and rigid. There we go, it's that simple to make up. So I'm gonna let that glue dry and then um, when it's dried, we'll have a look at how this all works. Because we've not put glue in the tab holes, um, we've not got glue oozing out and making a mess of your mat, which is sort of why I've not done it. Um, so it's nice and clean underneath. But what you can do once this is all dried is you can put a little bit of uh, um, CA glue um, in the tabs if you like but 
Um, we'll wait and see how, how um, sturdy this is once it's dried. I think we might get away with not having to bother. So we have built up our frame. It is nice and solid now. Um, I've decided I don't need to run super glue underneath. It's, a, um, I, it's quite a tight fit anyway, even without the glue. So the glue is um, uh, more than sufficient, what we've done. Uh, we have three heights of um, uh, wing and four heights of fuselage uh, stands. That's because obviously the position of wings on the fuselage of aircraft varies dramatically. Um, generally, all of the uh, fuselage ones are a little lower, um, so the, the highest fuselage, you'll see if I put it in, it is, um, is a bit higher, sorry, than the wings, not lower, higher. So, um, yeah, I, I, I think it's quite a nifty little tool. It basically does the same as my f uh, handmade foam one does, but it does look a little bit tidier, and it's not massively expensive compared to others on the market. So let's see if it works. So I want to put this jet on. Now, obviously, the wings are jet are in a different position so we're gonna to have to try and do it like that so if we go with the middle one like so and then on the fuselage one it's a matter of finding which one is the best fit? So, yeah, that fits okay. We could get away with that. I think we could probably move that out one. So, yeah, that's it fairly comfortably on that we could probably move it forward uh, and extend the stands out a little bit so it's on the tool a little bit more it's a little bit of trial and error but once you've got it set up uh, for whatever your model you're doing it, it it should be really quite easy to work with there you go so that looks really quite cool doesn't it now obviously it's only resting in place so you do have to be careful with it but it's ideal if you're putting decals on um, and we can flip that over um, and do the same you just have to be a little bit wary of the tail but we could you know we can go for the higher one yet yeah, we're only on the middle height um, so that's really quite handy that we've got different heights so you can flip it over and work on the underside and then yeah, I mean, you could even spray paint on there and, and certainly do detail painting. I'd be a little bit wary of using it for building um, unless, of course, you uh, you tape it down so it doesn't move. So it was recommended in the instructions that we put a little bit of masking tape on that so that um, this was um, not going to scratch the surface of your model. So that is going to be my next job. So there we have it, the aircraft paint stand from EBMA Hobby and Craft. It's a simple tool. Um, it works on a very simple principle. Um, it's multiply adjustable. Probably will do you most of your aircraft builds. It might be one or two. 132, 124, that, that might struggle with it a little bit. Um, but everything else, I think, um, can easily uh, be dealt with. I think it's a, a, a nice a nice tool. And when you consider it's only £10, it's a fairly good budget price. So I quite like it. Um, easy to pick up. You can go and get them off the, off the website. Uh, like I say, it's £10. Uh, what's not to like so there you have it one aircraft painting tool um, I think that's a great a great little product hope that was interesting you take care and enjoy your modeling and I'll see you very soon <laughs>